When we talk about vector components, we mean given two vectors, v and w, that we want to find the component of v in the direction of w or perpendicular to w. What we want to do is we want to rewrite v as a vector in the direction of w plus another vector perpendicular to w. So we've got a right angle here. So v is then, if we call this vector a and this vector b, v is a plus b. This is the concept behind vector components. Now let's have a look at a particular example. Find the vector component of V which is parallel to W, then find the component that is perpendicular. So we are asked to find A and then B. So first of all let me give the formula. A is the dot product of V and the unit vector in direction of W times the same unit vector. B is V minus A which makes sense because V was A plus B. This is how we constructed A and B. Now let's use these to calculate A and B. First of all let's calculate this unit vector and that is the vector W itself divided by its magnitude. So I'm writing down W first and now I'm dividing it by its magnitude and its magnitude is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. So what we get is 3i plus 4j plus 5k divided by the square root of 9 plus 16 plus 25 is 50. Now we need to calculate this dot product and we might as well write 1 over root 50 just here. We will just factorize this and then calculate 1 times 3 plus 1 times 4 plus 1 times 5 and what we get is 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is 12 so this is 12 divided by the square root of 50. Now putting this all together we now have the dot product here, that part, and we have to multiply this by the unit vector. That means we have 12 divided by the square root of 50 times the unit vector itself again, 1 divided by the square root of 50 times 3i plus 4j plus 5k and that simplifies to 12 divided by 50 which is 6 divided by 25 times 3i plus 4j plus 5k. Now this is a. To calculate b we have to subtract a from v. So what we have to calculate and I might just write this down here so b was v minus a that is i plus j plus k minus 18 over 25 i, I'm multiplying this out, minus 24 over 25 j minus 30 over 25 k. So this is just this part here, this is a. And if you simplify this then this will come to 1 over 25 times 7i plus j minus 5k. So now we've got a and we've got b here.